Hi, I'm Healthy Emmy. And I'm Healthy Mommy. And today we are sharing with you life-changing menopause weight loss tips. If you are new, hey, I'm Healthy Emmy. I'm a nutritionist and a weight loss specialist and the creator of the Slim on Starch program where you work with me as well as a mindset coach and a nutrition coach to lose weight on a plant-based diet. This is my wonderful mom who went through the Slim on Starch program and we documented her whole journey and today we are coming at you with another video. All right, would you like to do the honors? Sure. My first tip would be, I'd be remiss as a, as a nurse if I didn't start here, is that I really feel strongly that you should have a PCP, an MD, a nurse practitioner in your court that you can count on so that you know the baseline, where you're starting from, that you have all your appropriate screenings. And then I think you take it from there. It's so important to take advantage of all the health care that we have available to us um, so that you're at a good, solid start. That's really sound advice because very often in this sort of lifestyle medicine world, there's a big distrust with Western medicine, mm -hmm. with traditional medicine, mm -hmm. and I think that there is a time and a place for it where it's appropriate, and this is a perfect balance between the two, mm -hmm. to utilize Western medicine for things like blood tests and to get the things that you can't get in your home, but then to take it from there. Right, simple things like know your blood pressure, have your mammograms, have your colonoscopies, all those screenings, get that done. Awesome. My first tip, so this is tip number two, is to choose a staple breakfast. And this is going to be your staple breakfast until you get sick of it. And you can do it seasonally. You know, you could have your fall breakfast and then when winter comes around, you have your winter breakfast. And the reason why I suggest this is a couple of reasons. The first is it reduces decision fatigue, mm -hmm. which is having to make that decision every single morning of, oh my goodness, what am I going to have? This is why, you know, Steve Jobs would wear the same thing every day so that he didn't have to think about what he was going to wear and he could channel all of his energy into creating Apple. So if we have it so that the decision is made, you have your stable breakfast and that's that, then you won't get the decision fatigue where you throw up your hands and you say, oh, well, whatever, I'm just not gonna, I'll have anything. The second reason is that objects in motion stay in motion. So if you get off to a good start with your first meal of the day, the second meal of the day is probably going to look good. And the one after that's going to look good. You've gotten the day on, on, a, on a good start. So Healthy Mummy, do you want to share what your everyday breakfast is? Mm -hmm. and you my, can shout out your cookbook because it's sure. in there. It's in my cookbook. I have it every day. I never tire of it. It's um, oats with um, carrots and wheat germ and blueberries and sometimes I throw some chia seeds in there um, and maybe some hemp seeds on top. But every day, love it. And it's in the Healthy Mummy Cookbook. Yeah. And I just want to say a little bit about that starting the day off. It's kind of like they say, if you make your bed in the morning, mm -hmm. you've gotten yourself off to a good start. Yep. All right, Mom, your turn. All right, my tip. So one of my um, sayings that all my friends know that I, I say a lot, now that I'm at the age that I'm at, is that I have to keep, you gotta keep moving like a shark. Mm -hmm. It's so important to have this be really part of your daily routine and part of your life. And my that doesn't mean that you know you join a gym and you go to yoga on Monday and maybe you take a Pilates class on a Thursday. It really has to be part of your day. Easy things, walking. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you can find any kind of a yin yoga or restorative yoga class online and do it at home. You don't need any special equipment. And um, I've noticed a change in my body since I started doing that, rather than what I said before, is the class here, the class there. Um, it really, if it's part of your life like this, SOS is part of your eating, I feel it makes all the difference in the world. Yeah, Dr. Greger talks about how research shows that sitting for more than six hours a day is as detrimental as, and I'm not going to say what he says because I don't want people coming after me, but it's really detrimental to be sitting for such prolonged periods of time mm -hmm. because it impairs blood flow throughout your entire body when you're in that sitting position. Uh, so keeping moving, absolutely. And mm -hmm. like you said, not sitting all day and then going to your one hour workout class. Right. That, right. The, that doesn't negate the sitting all day, mm -hmm. staying moving throughout the day. Right. My next tip is called find your line. And what I mean by that is write down, recite and practice the line that you're going to say to people when they offer you something oh. that's not SOS. Yes, like your elevator pitch. Yes. Yeah. 
So are you going to be 100% honest and tell them that you're doing SOS? Are you going to kick the rock down the road, as Dr. Lyle says, and say, maybe in a, maybe in a couple hours. I'm, I'm okay right now. I'm full right now, but maybe in a few hours. Or are you just going to lie and say that you're allergic? Whatever it is, write it down, practice it, so that when that inevitably happens and somebody offers you something, you know what to say. Uh, you say, you know, I, I can't lie because I can't even keep the truth straight. <laughs> so you could keep that in mind as well, that honesty is, is really the best policy. What do you say in those situations? Um, I usually say, I've, I've just recently changed what I'm going to say. I'm, I'm going to say that I just feel so much better eating what I'm eating and um, I'm just, I'm good. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. All right, your turn. Um, I was reminded last night, healthy dad um, went out without me, shocking, and I was not really prepared as to what I was going to have to eat. And it was just such a, a clear reminder to me about how important it is to be prepared. Because a steady stream of, I don't know, what am I gonna mm -hmm. have? It's so important to prep your meals, and even if you don't, to know that you have staples in your house that you can turn to, and keeping all the bad stuff um, out of your uh, ability to grab. Well, that goes perfectly into the tip that I was going to recommend next. So I will just go ahead and do that, which is at the beginning of the week to batch cook a bunch of sweet potatoes mm -hmm. and put them in the fridge or in the freezer. So buy a 10 pound bag of sweet potatoes, cook them in the oven, just like you normally would or however you want to cook them. And then put, if, they're, if you're going to eat them within the next three days, they can go into the fridge. And if you're going to eat them after three days, put them in a freezer safe bag and put them in the freezer. It takes less than a minute mm -hmm. to reheat them in the microwave. Or you could eat them cold too. You could just take them out of the fridge. Mm -hmm. But for people that are right now grabbing for a protein bar or peanut butter crackers mm -hmm. or grabbing for those processed snacks that come in packages, grabbing for your kids' food, whatever it is, grab this instead. Mm -hmm. And I know my SOS clients know you have to pair veggies with this to make it complete. But for those that are right now grabbing a protein bar or grabbing candy bars or whatever it is, this is an enormous improvement. Yeah, they'll fill you right up. They are the most yeah. satiating food on the planet. And you know, the one of my clients used this term. She said three o'clock is the witching hour. Oh, agreed. I said, I love that term. I'm yeah. going to start using it. Yeah. That's when things go this way or that way. <laughs> right. So if you... It's okay to get hungry at that time, by the way. This, this oh, I have to wait until dinner mentality makes you end up overeating and reaching for the, the junk. But it's okay to eat, and I would suggest eating a potato at that time. Mm -hmm. Your turn, Mom. Um, I think that it's really important, and sometimes we forget to, we may be eating clean, but how important it is to keep our mind clean. And it's, whatever your issue is, um, if you don't have other things to occupy your mind with, it will be happy to take up most of your day. So whether it's reading or learning a new job or taking an online class or what, whatever it is um, that can keep your mind on a more open, healthy, um, clearer path, I think is really so important. And as you get older, it really is everything, really, to um, try and stay sharp. Yeah, it's your primary foods. Yeah, right. The uh, I, I tell my clients, you know, that's what this is all about. You eat SOS so that you can live a life with fulfilling primary foods, mm -hmm. not so that you can just sit around and do nothing all day long. It's right. the whole purpose of eating this way so that you can live a fulfilling life. My next tip is for grocery shopping. When you go to the grocery store, fill up as much of your cart as you can with either produce or if it is packaged, it should only have one ingredient. Mm -hmm. I think that very often people get caught in the health halo of packaged foods that have the label of oh, yeah. vegan or gluten-free or sure. organic or sugar-free. Mm -hmm. This is not that complicated. It really, it's so, it's so painfully simple how to release weight and maintain a healthy weight. It's so simple. You just have to eat whole foods and listen to your hunger fullness cues. You don't have to worry about macros and grams of protein and all of that mumbo jumbo. And we often see when people are, when we go to people's houses, they'll bring out something with a health halo on it. They'll yeah. say, oh, I got this vegan ice cream or I yeah. got these gluten-free whatever. And we're yeah. like, we're not even gluten-free. <laughs> but 
don't fall into that trap of that beautiful marketing. Mm -hmm. Just keep it super simple with produce and foods that don't have ingredients lists. I think it's important, um, especially for women and especially women of a certain age, to treat themselves a little bit. The thing I want to talk about is that when you start to eat like this, you will begin to glow a little and that you should maybe just enhance that. You know, skin care is really important. Um, people, women of a certain age, should be using a retinol product at night. It really helps with fine lines and wrinkles and cell turnover. Um, and it just, it's nice to look in the mirror and think, hmm, you know, I'm looking pretty good here thanks to the you know, healthy eating that I'm doing. Um, so treat yourself. Have a facial once in a while. Reward that body. Yeah, wellness is more than just what you put in it and how you move your body. Yeah. There is reducing your stress levels too, you know, reducing cortisol mm -hmm. by yeah. going and getting a facial yeah. or getting a massage. And self care, showing your body that you care for it. Right. And not just doing that through food, but, yeah. but through that as well. Yeah. My last tip is to find your crowd pleaser recipe mm -hmm. so that when you're having people over or you're going to a potluck or you have to cook for other people you've got okay i know what i'm making right. yeah. i got the one that everyone loves for Agreed. me it's my chili recipe whenever i make it people always ask for the recipe yeah, it's so good so i have i have a video about it uh what's your go-to crowd pleaser um, well, with see, I've got healthy dad to contend with, and he does love to cook. So we probably always do Mexican food, make your own tacos. Mm -hmm. um, everybody loves that. Tofu ginger is another crowd yeah, well, pleaser. Yeah, that, you know, that's practically our staple. Yeah, so those that's in the cookbook, yeah. in the healthy dad cookbook. Yeah. All right, mom. Well, thanks for this. Thanks, so good. All right. I love you, honeys. Oh, if you made it to this point of the video, do you want them to comment glow? Because you sure. noted. Okay, so comment glow if you made it to this point of the video. And I love you, honeys, and I'll see you in my next one.